Shalom, everyone. This is Ike, and welcome to the third episode of Truth Bombs. Okay. I'm going to show you when the biblical new moon is, and this is how I'm going to do it. First, this is the new Strong's Exhausted Concordance of the Bible. The King James edition. This is the this is the James Strong's edition, one of the best Strong's concordance you can buy. This thing was eighty dollars when I first purchased it a couple of years ago. I think you can find it now on Amazon for like thirty forty dollars, uh, used. But um, this is a Strong's concordance that also gives you the definition of the Hebrew words. It also gives you the Arabic and the Greek definition of the words from the Bible. Okay, now we're going to go to New Moon, right? And I got the light set up. That's the light set up so you can see these words. This is the this is the strong. Let me make sure my my finger ain't over the mic. This is the Strong's concordance number for New Moon, and the word is Kodash, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Strong's concordance number twenty three twenty from twenty three eighteen. We will go there too. It says the new moon, a month, month, new moon, monthly. Now, this is the definition of the word. It says Kodesh means the new moon, month. The word refers to the day on which the crescent reappears. And then it quotes scripture. So David hid himself in the field. And when the new moon was come, the king set him down to eat meat. 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 24. And then it gives you a lot more information. Uh, the reference was 2318. Let's go there right quick. 2318 is right here. It says, to be new, to rebuild, renew, repair. Kadash means to renew so the new moon cycle is restarted when the crescent reappears the cycle renews itself the, the, uh, the illumination of the moon restarts itself at the appearance of the first light of the moon okay so I just read it to you when the new moon is according to the scriptures according to the definition of the word Kodesh when it relates to the new moon. Now, you know how long it took me to teach, show you that? As long as it took me to read that information for you. I didn't have to go through no long one hour, two, three, four hour seminar to show you when the new moon is. It's when the crescent reappears, when the illumination cycle of the moon restarts. Because the moon has to be illuminated for you to see it to say that's the moon. You have to be able to see it to say that's the moon. When the moon goes into conjunction, that is the that's the end of the lunar cycle. That's the last day of the month. That's the 29th day of the month. Then when the crescent reappears, that's the beginning of the first day of the new moon. That's is right there. That's the Hebrew definition of the word. 